Today's game is copyright 1977, which means it predates itself by almost 20 years. Ah yes, EA Sports. I wonder which FIFA game this could be. Oh yes, it's FIFA 97, the Gold Edition. That implies that this is actually worth something, though I doubt you'd get more than just a funny look if you took this to a pawn shop or a cash for gold website. Here's a fun fact. If you took all the FIFA Mega Drive cartridges and lined them end to end, they'd reach from Great Britain to Canada, which is incidentally where they developed this game, and the team that I shall be playing with in the first part of this video. Let's see, which country haven't we offended enough? Ah yes, I think we shall go with Australia. Well, I suppose that'll be the fantastically digitised crowd sounds we have coming in there. EA Sports have captured perfectly the sound of 30,000 people blowing their noses simultaneously. You'd almost say that it wasn't really worth it for a game released on the Mega Drive in 1996, but no expense has been spurred in the production of FIFA 97. You can literally feel the new high-speed gameplay which actually makes the game more difficult to control, but I suppose they had to change the game in some way to make it at least worth buying. Now apparently that was offside, though we'll never actually know for sure I suppose. We'll just have to take the game's word for it. Hmm, just as I expected. The game takes a very strict line on offsides, and for some reason the referee blows his whistle twice. Must be what they do in Canadian football. Ooh, did you see that? The goalkeeper makes a fantastic save with his invisible magic stick. Must be another aspect of Canadian football that I wasn't aware of. And that's it. Or is it because there is extra time? In the world of FIFA football, there are no draws, my friend. It is a magical world where the referee can turn the ball to stone with just a blow of his whistle. Now we must all stay quiet as the players take their penalties to the sound of complete silence. Shh. It takes this bloke about five minutes to realise that he scored the winning penalty. He was probably concentrating more on his goal celebration. Oh, very original Angus Young. More evidence of this Canadian conspiracy here in the fact that Craig Forrest has won the man of the match, even though his team lost the game. Hmm. We're gonna move away from that now with a game of fast and furious indoor football. Here, there are no offsides or throw ins, but don't worry, the rules are still eminently bendable. And the goalkeepers are still just as bad. Um, what just happened? Oh, it doesn't really help that you can't see a thing that's going on at the bottom part of the screen. What's this? Goalkeepers can handle outside of their own penalty area, you know? Well, I haven't actually seen a referee yet, so I'm guessing it's just like the school playground where you make up rules as you go along. If a player gets pushed over in the penalty area but doesn't make a sound, is there a referee there to give the foul? Oh, come on, ref. Jeez. Oh, it's no use trying to walk back into the penalty area. There is an invisible wall there. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this foray into FIFA 97, where we have confirmed once and for all the corruption 
that is a blight on our beautiful game. And nowhere is this more evident than in the fact that Superman has magically been able to obtain Malaysian citizenship.